Welcome back everyone, this is Dragon in White here and we are playing Monster Hunter Rise and this is our first hunt. Let us jump into this. Urgent quest? Would you like? Back to basics. Well, I actually like the graphics of this better than Monster Hunter World. <laughs> no water, only vodka. Uh, say Santi. Well, I have uh, thrown off um, alcohol unfortunately. I do love it, but for religious reasons, I decided to drop it. If you can't oh. pick one, just go take a stroll or even a nap. Good luck. Now, I recall something. Canteen. Enough walking for now. Can't hunt on an empty stomach. I gotta pay. Can't pay. Time to go. Cheers. No, let's just depart. Hey, okay, Century Abandoned by the Gods. Alright. These halls of worship, once so bustling, now home to monsters, stalking and rustling. Hunters beware, not wait, but despair. Let's do this! Hanging in there? Yo, Ace. What's up? Accepted my quest, huh? Nice. Sure thing. Come over here and we'll get started. Welcome. Okay, good map on the left. We've just got to figure out where is the best place on my camera and this looks fine. Okay, I think I dropped connection on the net again. You're here! For some odd reason, I'm dropping frames as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the connection to come back for a second. Okay, we should be good. Right, talk to him. Ready to thrash? Congrats again on making Hunter. A whole new life awaits. <laughs> hey, I can see in your eyes that you are ready to trash, but let's do a quest refresher first. Cool? Let's start with our camp here. Mm. This is your tent. Here, you can change your equipment and weapons or organize mm. your items. If you want to build on your current loadout, you're free to switch your gear out inside. That over there is the supply box. It's full of useful items that will aid you during a quest. And everything in there is provided by the guild. So feel free to take and use whatever you want. <laughs> and that is it for the camp. Let's move on to the next mm. part. I'll meet you down by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on your map. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's uh, pretty standard. Use the map. On the bottom left to check the location. Uh, da, da, da. LB to zoom in on the map and view endemic life gathering points. Um, control, okay. Detail map in start menu. Y to open the detail map to open icon list, okay. In addition, you can highlight an icon to make that. Okay, so this is a... Uh, okay. Hmm, what is this? 
<laughs> oh, that's how I used the wired punch. Let's do this. Uh, that's a bit of waste. Let's try that again. And beat the pot. Okay. I wonder if there's four damage. I don't remember Monster Hunter having four damage. Let's do this. Okay, supply box. As usual, I usually take all this, all this. Don't need any of that. Okay, controller's interesting, all right? By pressing B, you can harvest. Actually, let's just see what you F. Okay. Auto craft. Okay, I probably will configure that in the future, probably for potions. Your weapon, please. Ready? Yo, my favorite pupil. Hey, up here. All right. Let's talk wire bugs. Those bodacious bugs are a must in any hunt. Use them right and you'll be able to zip around pretty much anywhere you want to go, even on top of this boulder. Ah. Give it a shot! The technique used a uh, wire box to zip through the air while holding left trigger. Wait, what? While holding left trigger, press Y to move vertically, B to move forward. Press right trigger to move where you are aiming. Okay. Middle mouse, move vertically. <laughs> okay, how, how does the... Catcom expect people to do this, to press the middle mouse and hold left click and right click at the same time. It's, uh, it's odd. And they expect macro buttons for mouse over here. Right. I'm gonna have to rebind that I'm guessing. Each weapon has their own silk bind action. Please cannot be used if your weapon shift. Do you use it? Draw it. Hold LT. Really? All that to draw the weapon? Yeah, uh, Dr. Sente said games designed with controller in mind, keyboard and mouse are afterthoughts. I do agree. What do they mean by it? Confirm by a dash, strange war run, lift the manual, hold down right 
bumper to continue running. Okay. Sup, Ace? You're right, Ace. Why are bugs giving you trouble? If you're struggling, hold left trigger while aiming, and once it's at the right spot, press right trigger. Don't sweat it. You'll be a master of wire bugs in no time if you keep practicing. Right, let's talk buddies. Today I brought my Pelico and Palamut, Flash and Rumble. Um, well, okay, they look peace colored. <laughs> uh -huh. They'll be lending you a paw for this part of the training. Mm -hmm. First, try mounting Rumble, my Palamut. Uh. Palamut's are swift as the wind, and so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your bucking body. Uh. Alright, I'll be waiting for you up the trail. Meet me there. Um, Okay, let me write command. Oh, you can attack while on the dock. Okay, Y to attack, A to dismount. Jumping, dismount while dashing. Okay, this will be space, space left to attack. Drift? Wait, I didn't notice the drift. Okay, wait. Right trigger to jump, left trigger, and left stick to drift. Drift. Okay. Give it a try. Listen up. Please, yeah. elastic right bumper. Okay, interesting. If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. Hey, check out this yellow spirit bird. Uh -huh. If you touch one, its pollen will enhance that good luck charm you're wearing, your petalase. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your petalase and boosts your stats. Mm. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Similarly, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. The effect is only active during the current quest, but you can be sure as shurikens that they're worth using. Oh, and that's a cloth fly over there. Cloth flies are one of the many creatures you come across out in the field. We call these little guys endemic life. The powders these floaty friends spread can boost your defense. There's lots of other endemic life out there that can boost your hunts in different ways. Have a look around for other endemic life and play around with them to see what kind of effects they have. Okay, just a little bit more. Follow me. Honestly, at this point of time, I'm starting to feel that it's a little, um, the game is a little overwhelming in, in the tutorial. Like, there's a lot of things to learn. What's this? It feels a bit overwhelming. And I think they should have introduced it Attention, gradually. Please. I do like that the loading is better compared to the old games where when you go between areas, there's a kind of a long loading time in between. Good to see you. Right on Ace, got the hang of riding Palamuts already. Ah. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. And you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. <laughs> but their attacks won't be as strong as yours. So when you get down... Wait, 
when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Mm. Oh, looks like we got ourselves some monsters nearby. <laughs> How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out in the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. It's time to really get this show on the road. Green bar health gauge, little bar stamina, same O. Coming in contact with three birds to increase maximum and will depend on the okay. Da -da -da -da. I ate the wrong thing. Okay, that's the attack I wanted. Is it me or he's holding a shuriken? He's using a shuriken, okay. Right. Well, I dismounted, I meant to collect, but. Well. Sup, base? Nali, a pack of Izuchi. Alright, there's three of them. Go and take them out for me. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They can be skillful and ruthless. Just remember your training and you will be golden. Now ready your weapon, nice and steady, take them down. Wait, awesome job there, Ace. Oh, and don't forget to cast to harvest materials from the monster. They can be used for upgrades at the smithy. When you're done carving, come and see me. Mind if I do? Same old animation, same old sound. <laughs> okay, I'll put this to good use. Don't worry. One more day. Don't mind if I do. Just one? Okay. I see a honey there, which I want. Good job! Oh wait, wrong way, this way. Hey hero! Just as I expected from my star pupil, that was an incredible hunt. If there's something you think you could have done better, don't worry, after all, you're just getting started. Now then, let's head back to camp. It looks like we're kind of far away from it, but no big deal. Use fast travel and you'll be back in camp at camp in no time. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead, see you there. The map. What? I thought I swapped the thing correctly. Feels like they didn't save that. I need to go and find that. Um, where was it? Mm. 
We do not this one control. I'm gonna leave that as default. There we go, eye contact. That's the one. Speaking of which, vibration on? Yeah. Huh? Now, what is that button? Left? So is this, yeah? For fast travel. Looking forward to hunting with you. Oh, open map. That doesn't. Oh, that's the trick. Hold down. Okay, that is not obvious. Okay, ninja smoke bomb. <laughs> Okay, and top. Ready to thrash? Congratulations, you completed this basic training quest. Yeah, um, it's oddly enough because I was playing on a controller and it's using this select button and it's apparently it didn't clearly state to hold down rather than just tap. You have completed this basic training quest. I am now proud to send you into the field as a full-fledged hunter. Mm. You have learned well, but keep in mind, Elder Fugan and I expect much from you. If you ever feel like going over to your basic training again, accept the quest from Hinoa. Okay. So... Ha! Easy peasy! Oh, it's M on this. So yeah. Plus, you know, controller, you get this. And this. The thought. <sighs> we did it. Well, first quest done. Tutorial quest, of course. Ooh, raw meat. Okay, 15 camera points, reward money, cutscene added. Hey. Well, Dragon in Bite, I see Utsuchi's little quest was no match for you. Ha, huh, I expected nothing less. What you learned today is the very essence of hunting. Wherever the hunt takes you, those lessons will always hold true. Now, Hinoa should have some uh, one star quest rating ready for you. We'll get to it and happy hunting. <laughs> hey, and uh, I think I haven't speak to Minoto yet, so I really should do that. Hey. <laughs> Hello. I've been waiting for you. As you could have guessed, all gathering hub quest goes through oh. me. Please aware these quests are meant for a party of hunters. Oh. Quests will be rated at 1 star, 2 star, and so on. Think of the number of stars as the level of difficulty. 1 star to 3 star quests are classified as low rank, and 4 star to 7 are classified as high rank. I'm sure that in no times you'll be taking on high rank quests. At least that's what Hinoa says. Here at the hub, your hunter rank, or HR for short, determines what quest you are able to accept. A hunter rank of HR 1 will allow you to accept 1 star quest and HR 2 2 star quests. You get the idea. As for increasing your rank, well, I'll get into that later. For now, concentrate on what's in front of you. Oh, and when you want to participate in a quest with other hunters, you can check available quests and their details on the quest board. Once you accepted the quest, head to the quest gate to its embark. Oh, I mentioned earlier, gathering hub quests are meant for a party of hunters, meaning four hunters. However, if you are confident in your abilities, you may attempt them on your own as well. Feel free to use the prep area on the second floor. Preparation is half the battle after all. 
That should be everything. Shoot. I'll check with Hinoa later to see if I forgot anything. At any rate, you will be starting with one star quests. Good luck. What would you like to do? Okay. Done by completing key quests. Okay. Come back any time. Let's see. Impressors. Sure. Hello there, Dragon and White. Been waiting for you. I got some info that's vital. No, crucial. No, paramount. Were you were you just about to heat up the gathering hub so you can get a hunting party together? Yeah, about that, I got some bad news for you. You see, when the rampage is near, it's forbidden for hunters to leave Kamura. And outside hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kamura is offline. But if you want to form a party, I got a special type of message I can send to hunters to high tier it here. If I send a message, Kamura will be online and hunters will be able to enter. Just don't ask me how it works. I couldn't understand it myself. Something to do with spider webs. An email. Come to me whenever you want to swap between offline and online. By the way, did you talk with Minoto about online quests yet? If you haven't, better get your tail in gear so you can go hunting with all your friends. Okay, all the puns. Add on content. Okay, I'm gonna go offline first for now. I will deal with add on contents another time. Important matters to discuss. Mm -hmm. Fail to take your means of protection seriously and you won't last long out in the field. You can imagine why. Improve your armor by upgrading it here at my smithy. Be sure to bring the needed armor spears with you. I'll start you off with a few as a beginner's gift. Use them to upgrade your gear. Bye. What's up? Forage and are upgrading. Well, I doubt I'll be using those in for long anyway. Let's see. What do you need? Weapons can be created at the smithy. Select weapon and forge it to create from scratch or upgrade with that weapon. Upgraded can be rolled back to original state. And material span will be recouped. Okay. Okay, that part there is blocked off, can't go there yet. Haste makes waste. Take all the time you need. Need iron ore. Okay. And then three iron ore to make this. I got no idea how to make that yet. Monster bone. Well, well, well. This is better. Right, let's get cracking. We'll get some scraps, okay? Oh, but I need the equip. I need the items to know how to upgrade. Okay. Okay, so um, again, as I'm recording for YouTube, I am going to cut the video here for YouTube. And those of you on live on Twitch or YouTube live, do hang on, we'll be back. And 
Meanwhile, let me just end off the YouTube video. So for those of you on YouTube, this is end of this episode. We done one practice uh, quest hunting. And, uh, you know, usual shameless plug. Check out the novels I have at Hosted Novels, Patreon and whatnot. Check out all the links down in the description below. And as usual, like and subscribe to the video. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!